Well guys, it's time to say goodbye. Today is Thursday. It's time to go home. We're leaving today. Yesterday was our last full day and our flight's at 12.30 so we had the morning to chill. In Mexico we ordered room service. And this is the last time we're gonna see this gorgeous view. Oh, look at that. I should've came out and watched the sunrise today. Anyway, you guys, we had a great trip. Unfortunately, right at the end of our trip, the last day, I got drunk and fell in the pool with my phone. And my phone. And my camera and the boy's phone. Oddly enough, the boy's phone survived mine. Kaputs. My camera, kaputs. This is the boy's camera, so. We're gonna have to do some shopping when we get home. No. no, no, no. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. Do these surroundings look familiar? Hey guys, today is Friday! Turn up, turn up, turn up. We're back home, we made it safely. There's the boy. And there's Marley. Marley, are you happy to be home? The toenets, oh, don't cover your face when I'm talking to you. Do <laughs> So we did make it safely back. Thank you so much to everybody who had us in your thoughts and prayers. I'm a firm believer in the power of prayer. So thank you for bringing us home safely, guys. Thank you. And um, <clears throat> we were exhausted, so didn't vlog much at all when we got home. As a matter of fact, we slept right here on the couch. Like, we did not budge. This morning, I'm trying to console my iPhone. I put it in rice, but unfortunately it won't turn on at all. There's absolutely zero movement in this. This is my old phone, the 5C that I had before the boy upgraded me to the 6S. So I'm trying to reactivate that and use that in the meantime. But I'm going to try and get this repaired because I love this phone so much. And although the boy's phone works, unfortunately it won't charge. So I managed to destroy two iPhones and one camera yay me i kind of missed the mexico weather but you guys it feels good to be back home and into the swing of things i've spent the morning working and i feel really accomplished um went through some youtube comments got back to a bunch of you guys and did some stuff for the support assistant box which launches next month you guys february that's really exciting um so the first set of boxes will start going out mid february already what where did the time go and i also just finished an interview so i'm just sending my answers to the interview off um one of my tonettes shout out to you girl has a podcast so if you guys are looking for a, a new podcast to listen to check her out it's called black synergy podcast so we took a break from working to go run some errands and we're actually on our way to check out those model homes if you guys watched the vlog before we left on vacation we went and checked out a model home which i loved and most of you guys loved as well um some of you thought that there was too many stairs but i guarantee you you have more stairs in your house because each landing was only five steps and i think the average staircase is 20 steps it's just the it's just the layout it doesn't have more steps than the average house but um i like that layout because it gives you a clear line of sight it makes the place look more spacious airy and larger but anyways we went and looked at the mid-size which i think was like 24 73 24 44 okay so 2444 square feet the smallest size we didn't bother look at it's 1700 and the largest size i think is about 2800 and something which was closed for maintenance so we're gonna go see if it's open now uh 
hopefully you guys enjoy looking at houses just as much as I do. HGTV is my favorite channel. So this is kind of like House Hunters if you think about it. Just pretend style. Pretend House Hunters. Yeah. Well, we are actually house hunting, but I know that that biggest one is not for us, I don't think. But we're gonna go take a look at it just so you guys can um, see the comparison because some of you did ask to see the larger one once it's open. So let's go see if it's open. I've got the larger one right here. If you oh, see it. excuse me. All right, guys, looks like it's open. So we looked at that one in the last vlog, and that's the one we're gonna look at today, which is 2831 square feet. Oh, oh nice. Okay, so you step in, closet on the left, and a powder room immediately here. It's a nice size. I think that, that leads to the garage. One step. And you walk into this beautiful kitchen. That's gorgeous. Dining directly across and living right here. So see from this angle, this kitchen is a lot bigger, but in the other house, remember you could see the landing, the five steps that led to the den. It just looked more impressive to me, even though this technically you get more space. So here we have a regular staircase. Okay, so let's count guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. See? It's not more steps. Oh, this is nice. So that's, this is a little bit odd to me. You have a living space upstairs. Oh, man. Oh, it's like the landing thing on the other one. Yeah. But it's on the same level as the bedrooms. So this... Watch TV and go straight to bed. Yeah. <laughs> this is bedroom number one. Oh, this is cute. It's big. This could be my diva space. It's big. Walk-in closet. Or this could be Mama Daly's room, I guess, since it's got the ensuite. It's a shared bathroom. This is the Jack and Jill. Connects to the second bedroom. Which is cute as well. Standard closet. Ooh, cute. Cute little room. They really know how to decorate these model homes, that's for sure. So the hallway is nice and spacious. It's got laundry on the top floor, which I do like because that's where you keep your clothes. It's got, uh, this is the smallest of the rooms, I think. And it's got this nook. I think, I kind of feel like this is useless space. I don't really see the point of that. This is the main guest uh, bathroom. Nice size, really nice size. And then I'm guessing this is the master. So see, this could have been part of the master. I don't know what this dead space is for. Yeah. Master's gorgeous, obviously. They always do a nice job on the master. Closet's gorgeous. So I see how they can turn this into a five bedroom. Yeah. You know, five bedroom. Ooh, the bathroom is gorgeous, you're right. Oh, I love this bathroom. Love the bathroom. So, what do you guys think? I mean, they do a great job staging, but I still feel like the smaller home looks bigger because of the separated landings. We'll go in there too. We're going to go check it out again. And I also feel like I prefer not to bring guests upstairs to chill where my bedrooms are. Yeah, that's true. You guys already know how I feel about that. Or this place, this would just be for us, this sort of space. And yeah. So let's go see the unfinished basement. Oops, somebody left on a line wall, I guess. So it's separated into two. This section could be a bedroom. And then this section could be my workspace. Excuse the alarm going off, guys. I'm not sure what that's about. Okay, let's compare, guys, to the one I like. 2410 square feet. So here you go, the five steps. That's it, guys, only five. 
So many steps though. Laundry room's on the main floor, which is, I guess, a con. Powder room's there. Dining, living, kitchen. Okay, now look at this view. Do you see what I mean, guys? Do you see how much more spacious it looks standing here? There is a deck as well that will lead from the kitchen to the backyard. I forgot to show you guys the first time around. Another deck here. This is my favorite room. That double height fireplace is just insane. And then when you stand here or sit here, you see the two landings. So it just feels more spacious. It's not just, it almost seems like a three floor home instead of two floors. Let's go look at the master again. Refresh your memory. Oh, here's another point. Remember that dead space I showed you? See, in this house, it look, it's more functional. It's actually storage. It's like a linen closet. On the other house, it was like, looked almost like a bar area. Like, why would you have a bar area outside your bedroom? Bedroom number one, my recording room. Guest bathroom, so there's no Jack and Jill. Second bedroom. Third bedroom, super cute. Cute little niche here. Master. Yeah, I like this one better, guys. I do, I do, I like it better. Bigger is not always better. Ain't that right? Well. Except in some cases. And my bathroom. Which I also like. So basically with this new development, they have finally released or opened sales. They only released phase one, which means a limited amount of houses. They released 80 lots, 8-0. They sent the email last night at 6.50? 6. 6 o'clock PM, the email was sent out, hey guys, you know, sales are open. We got here at 7.25, and I'll show you what the lineup looked like. <laughs> so we actually stood in that line for over an hour, and we got a number, and our number is 209. Remember, there's only 80, 80 available. And 50 of those are actually houses that we're interested in. The rest are townhouses, which are awesome. It's just something we don't need. So now that we've got a number, the next step is to get here tomorrow. Uh, 9.30 is when they start calling numbers and they go through one number at a time. So number one, if number one's not here, they're X'd. Then they go to number two. If number two's not here, etc. So if you, if you actually get your number called, what you do is you get to bid on or select the lot that you want where you want to be located in this new community you also have to bring a down payment of twenty thousand dollars and um the prices start at seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars just to give you guys an idea of the market in toronto and we're not even in toronto we're outside the city so the smallest um size remember the one i showed you guys which we didn't look at for 1700 square feet that would be seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars so the thing is, also, you bring in $20,000 with your offer, which is normal, I guess. In 30 days, even though there's going to be no house, nothing happening, another $20,000. And in 60, 000, 60 days, another $20,000. And in 90 days, another $20,000. And $10,000 in 120 days. Well, they need money to build them. <laughs> so that's $24,000, $90,000 in basically six months. Yeah. yeah. Without even having a house. Without having a house. While still maintaining the mortgage on our current house. So, ah. Uh... And I'm pretty sure... If you do not bring in any one of those monies, you lose you everything. You lose your initial deposit. So this might not be the best option for us. I love that house number two, guys. I love it, but I, I don't think this is going to work. That house number two with all the bells and whistles, we're looking at probably a million dollars. So once they release phase two, which means they're only releasing a small amount of houses at a time, phase two, the prices will go up by 100000 so yeah the market is cray here guys so we're just gonna keep our eyes open i'm really glad i got a chance to look at that model home though because now i know what i like you know i love that house and that's my ideal so the goal is to get 
as close to that model as possible. So yeah guys, we're gonna keep house hunting. So hopefully you guys enjoy looking at houses. We're gonna keep house hunting and keep bringing you guys along whenever we see something interesting that pops up on the market that aren't these. <laughs> Next step is we're going to a cell phone repair shop to I see. Why. I'm just going to see if they can repair water damage. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Fingers crossed. This is where I am. Celltel Wireless. Unless you're going to eat cereal, no. Time to restock the fridge, guys. We're at the grocery store. We've got one cart pretty much full. And we might have to grab another one. So the phone guy, basically he said it's 50-50. He might be able to repair mine, um, which doesn't turn on at all. So if he can repair mine, it's gonna cost me 80 bucks. If he tries and he can't repair it, I just pay a flat fee of 25 bucks. So I went ahead and left it there. The boy's phone works, but it won't charge. It stopped charging. So his would be, how much was yours, 40 bucks? His would be 49 if he could fix it. And same, flat fee of 25 if he can't, so. First home cooked meal since being back. I'm so excited to see the boy in the kitchen again. Thanks, chef. No problem. And we're doing a one pot meal. Yeah. And it's rice and chicken and Mexican. all kinds of goodness. The Mexican paella. 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 So hopefully the next time he makes it, he'll do a what's for dinner because yeah. it looks yum. Surprise. I took my braids out, you guys. Um, they serve my purpose. They were supposed to get me through vacation and surgery. Vacation's done and surgery is cancelled. So I uh, just put on some hat hair. These are the you guys have one of these, the wig you can't wear without a hat. It's an old RPG show hat, but I think I look cute girl. We're gonna go celebrate Half's birthday. You guys have met Half in pretty much every video where we turn up. She's always around. So we're gonna go turn up with her for her birthday. We missed it when we we're in um in Mexico, so we're just gonna go hang out uh, at her place tonight. The boy is actually coming with me for like an hour. So I'm excited about that. I'm sure half will appreciate it because she loves him. Yeah, if it wasn't and, for her, I wouldn't have come. Yeah, and Marley is staying home. We just put on some music for pets by Alexa. <whistles> so she's gonna chill out here. Cake made by oh, Chef it's Cherise. It's my cake. Yes! Happy yeah. birthday! Happy birthday! No, wait! Birthday, birthday, birthday! Birthday too! Birthday for me, yeah! Birthday for you! 